hey, what's going on? Mid-training session, and that's when thoughts come to my mind, always. But anyway, this is gonna be a quick one today. Don't make this mistake leading up to your event, or whatever the event might be, uh, and lose muscle. And I can see a lot of people doing this, and this really applies to people who are getting pretty lean, and their body's fighting back. So. Maybe because of diet, your testosterone is a little bit lower, insulin -like growth factor is lower, you're, you're, you're lethargic. So people tend to accidentally sacrifice their intensity and volume on their training. So a good way to prevent that from happening is one, you gotta track your training. So make sure you're tracking your rep sets, total volume per exercise. But when you're doing that and you get into, like I'm doing pull downs right now, um, it's an average energy day, I look back, and I'm like, man, I don't see myself increasing um, from 240 on my last set of pull downs that I did last week. I don't see myself increasing because the plate's going 15 pound increments. So what we are doing instead, I'm adding a five pounder or even a two and a half. So doing the same sets and reps, five sets of seven, but just adding the simple five pounder times the seven sets, it's a lot of additional volume. Um, that your body's gonna incur and it keeps you progressively overloading the muscle. So progressive overload is a really big thing that people tend to lose as they're training up to their event. Again, rightfully so, they're tired. Uh, they don't have as much pep in their step. So they're like, oh man, I'm just gonna accept the fact that I'm gonna train lower volume or train less. But that is a great pathway to resist, uh, to, to losing muscle. Because think about it, you're in a calorically deprived state, your hormones are not probably in a great place, and now you're training less volume, so now you're telling your body, hey, I've got less of a reason to use you muscle, so bye bye. So don't give your body that reason to not use its muscle. Give about your body, keep giving it reasons to use that muscle by increasing your progressive overload. Even if it's two and a half, man, even if you gotta go grab like, you know, a one pounder and hang it from the side, any overload is good overload. So use these little plates um, in the gym, hang them from the weight stack or put a little dumbbell on there. Uh, it will pay off in dividends. Again, a lot of the weight stacks, they go in 15, 10 pound increments. Don't let that stop you from overloading into your event. Hopefully this was useful. Do the math, throw a five pounder on there on your next set of whatever it might be. Do the math and see how much more volume you're doing. Hey, you might uh, surprise yourself. So thanks for tuning in.